Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with NBA 2K22 game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to go ahead and close the game. So if the game is running, go ahead and close the game, then restart Steam. So go to Steam, click on it, and then click on exit. And after that, re restart Steam. And after the restart, if you receive any kind of update from Steam, go ahead and update and let the update complete. And after that, you can go ahead and try to launch the game. Sometimes a simple restart actually fixes the problems. Now still you're facing the problem, you can go ahead and do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and operating system, then click on search. And then you will see the download option. So click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. And when you run, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. Then put a check on the box which says custom. And then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. And then click on next. And after the clean installation, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic cards. So if your computer came with dual graphic card, make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card. For this, go ahead and type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if it is installed in C drive, go to C drive and open Steam folder. If it is in D drive, open D drive and then open the Steam folder. So open the Steam folder, then open the Steam apps folder. open steam apps then open the common folder and then open the game folder so in my case the game is still downloading right now so i don't have the exe file over here so open the game folder and over here once you open the game folder here you will find the game exe file then click on add select the game exe file then click on add and once the game is added over here then you have to click on the game this is just an example so once the game is added over here, click on options and then select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory for this. Go to the Windows search box and type in view advanced system settings and then click on view advanced system settings. And under the advanced tab over here, click on settings, the first settings, then go to advanced tab and then click on change and then uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file so uncheck this box and then you have to go ahead and select your hard drive so wherever the game is installed in your case if the game is installed in d drive you can go ahead and select d drive from here so select the drive on which the game is installed in my case the c it's c drive and then put a check on the box which says custom size and the initial initial size will be the recommended size from here so just on the bottom here you will be able to see your recommended size so in your case whatever is the recommended size you go ahead and enter that value over here so in my case it's 1881 so whatever is showing over here you go ahead and enter that number over here for maximum size you can go ahead and open calculator so you have to go ahead and check your total ram so in my case the total ram in my computer is 8 gb so it will be 8 into 1024 so maximum size will be 8192 in my case in your case if you have 16 gb of ram in that case you can go ahead and just calculate 16 into 1024 that will be 16384 for 16 gb ram in your case in in case if you have 32 gb ram just type in 32 into 1024 and then you can go ahead and enter this amount, enter this value. So you can go ahead and calculate as per your RAM in your system and then type in over here for maximum size and then click on OK. And then click on apply, OK, OK, and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game and then click on manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder in my case the game is still downloading so i don't have 
the exe file over here so i'm showing with another application so once you open the game folder you have to make a right click on the game exe file this is just an example so make a right click on the game exe file then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply okay and then try to launch the game and also try to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of uh, clicking on play over here you can straight away go to the game installation folder and open the game folder and try to run the game from the game exe file from the game folder now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus on your computer so just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have avast not on mcafee bit defender so whatever antivirus you have just allow the game exe file to your antivirus program in case if you are using windows security go to the start menu and then click on settings then click on update and security if you are using windows 10 you have to click on windows update and security so in in windows 11 it's under privacy and security in windows 10 it's uh, under windows update and security so go to windows security open windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on if this control folder access is on in my case it was off so if this is on click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes and then click, click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps and again go to the game installation folder so go to the game installation folder open the steam folder open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder then open the game folder over here over here you will find the game exe file select it then click on open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file so this link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website so scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 you have to go ahead and install both x86 and x64 version so make sure that you install you download both x86 and x64 version now once the download is complete run both the exe file so click on it click on install or repair whatever you see click on yes to allow run the second file as well so click on install or repair so you might see the repair option or install option so click on install or repair click on yes to allow and let the installation complete let both the installation complete now once the installation is complete you can click on restart over here or you can go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart try to launch the game the next step is to disable overlay so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and also uncheck the option which says keep game saves in steam cloud so uncheck this and then try to launch the game now if you have any other overlay application running on the computer go ahead and close other overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer in case if you have discord you can go ahead and close discord now if you have geforce experience on the computer go ahead and close geforce experience so if you have geforce open on the computer go ahead and close it close discord these are overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner running on the computer or if you have revert tuner running on the computer go ahead and close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in window search box and then click on system configuration over here and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here then click on disable all make sure that you put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply okay and then you will see the restart option click on restart and then try to launch the game also close all the background application so if you have any other application running on the computer go ahead and close all the application so make sure that only steam and the game is running you can close even the browser you can go ahead and close it and then try to launch the game the next step is to update windows to the latest version so 
launch settings and then click on windows update and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam maker right click on the game then select properties and then go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification you can go ahead and try to launch the game now in case you are able to launch the game then try to play the game uh, in window mode so select window mode and also try to lower down graphic settings so go to in game graphic settings and if it is set to high or ultra you can go ahead and select medium or low and then check the performance now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game for this go to the steam maker right click on the game and then select manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game files delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel